The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Our guest today will be Jim Bartolioni. He'll be on at 8.30. Tomorrow we have Jeff Huge, Alpha Insights. Wednesday we have Shane Smolian. Thursday and Friday are still open, but I'm working on a couple of guests that might be able to join us. I posted the chart of the DAX. I posted the chart of the FTSE, both of those you can see uh, in the den, but we need to cover a few other things beforehand. What I've done is I posted into the room the video that I sent out on uh, Sunday evening uh, early uh, to show what I thought was going to be the highs in the E-mini, the NASDAQ, and the S&P. If you'll take a look at those, you'll see that they all came within $500, and that's total of all of them. I mean, that's a, that, the Dow Jones was just, with, I think, within 10 points of the exact high. As a matter of fact, you know, we've been talking about that for uh, a great deal of time here, and we finally reached that level. I'll just get this up here to put it up here today. This is the Dow Jones Industrial Index itself, and uh, you'll notice here the number we were looking at was for 35,913, and we actually hit 36,000 for a minute or two. We backed off about 200 points from that, but it doesn't that doesn't mean very much. All of these things, folks, are just numbers. That's all they're, they're that's all they are. They help you control risk. They help you to get into things. Also, uh, we were uh, in we, we talked about the gold market on Friday. We had that uh, beautiful pattern down there at the 19 excuse me 17 73 level uh, we got up to our profit objective today uh, that made uh, you know over a couple grand doesn't mean a whole lot but we'll keep an eye on it maybe for future use when we get a little bit of a pullback we're going to be uh, buying the gold uh, again so that's the main thing right now folks i want to take a minute or two to tell you a story uh, you know, we, we hear a lot. Just give me. I'm going to post this in here because this is right directly out of the uh, out of the newsletter uh, this week, and I, I think it's an important story for me to tell you. You know, it, it's nice when people talk about things that have happened in the past, but when people talk to you about things in the future, that's the thing that's important. I met John Jameson about 16 years ago. He was living in Perth, Australia, and uh, we started to be uh, we communicate back and forth. I went back to see him there. He came here several times. And uh, he is a very smart fellow. But this is something that happened in October of 2017. John was trying to get me to uh, do a, uh, a service for uh, cryptocurrencies. But at that time, you know, it was pretty tough. Go, uh, <laughs> the uh, Bitcoin was trading at 6000 But here, li listen what this uh, – he says uh, – here's what he said to me. He said, if you think you've missed the party on these crystal cryptocurrencies, it hasn't even started. John sent me down and explained to me that blockchains are encapsulating layers, engulfing the old Internet with a new smart layer that provides proof of ownership. Like a Russian doll engulfed in a larger version of itself, think of the Internet as being engulfed by this new layer. The world government know it's happening, and big money know it's happening, and big money is going to be moving in. John said, if you understand that, then you're already way ahead of the game. Why? Because that's what this business is about. It's about the construction of what, boys and girls? A metaverse. And what did Facebook just do? Change their name to Meta. It's a construction of a new virtual real estate that's going to be land grab, and the vast majority of the population are clueless of what's going on. So this word, metaverse, is now coming into it. The reason why I bring it to your attention now, because, you know, we have a Bitcoin trading above 60000 and we have it listed on the exchanges. It's being quoted on Bloomberg, CNBC, uh, Beijing, China, Hong Kong, everywhere. So this is a live thing. This is not a bubble anymore, folks. If you think it's a bubble, I can understand that. I, I'm very difficult to understand this stuff. Four years ago, I, I couldn't understand it, so I didn't want to get into it. I should have, but... But I didn't. But uh, this is stuff is here today. So we'll start talking about more and more about it. But uh, 
it, it, you know, if it is the bubble, it'll be the greatest one ever perpetrated on man, which it has possible too. So we'll uh, we'll we'll take a quick look at that. So that's why it's so very important. He uh, he believes that you know these things are starting to looking at this. Uh, you know, seeing what we're looking at, what we're watching these things here. Okay, let's talk about a couple of markets that we were talking about. If you remember, last week we were talking about Tesla, that the, the important price on the Tesla was uh, 11000 <laughs> 1128 was the 1.618 expansion I've seen. We've been above that. In fact, we're trading above it right now with another gap up. But that is a major expansion number uh, up in that area. So we had that one in our watch list. Also, uh, we were chatting with the gentleman. I believe he was from back east somewhere with his stock, which ZS. And that also... Uh, if you'll notice here, went back and made another new high at the 1.618 expansion up there at 320. It's down a couple dollars from that, but that's the ones we were mentioning. And then also, we one we talk about all the time, of course, is Apple because it trades so nicely. And as you can see here from the chart here on Apple, all we did on that Thursday before the earnings report, you'll see or or the day of the earnings report as we got up to that uh, 153 level we're trying to get trading around 159 now no big deal but it did hit the exact you know 78 uh, percent retracement so those are just a couple of the things that i'm uh, looking at i'm talking i'm i'm hearing reports here about the russell uh, making new highs that's certainly certainly a possibility once we got above I think 2315, it looked like it was going to go up. Now, the S&P and some of these have already backed off about uh, uh, 30 handles from what the expected high was, but uh, that doesn't mean it can't go up and make another new high. That's that's certainly uh, possible uh, to do that. So those were just a few of the things that I, I wanted to uh, bring to your attention today because uh, they are very important, especially that part of the newsletter where John explained about Metaverse you know, four years ago, before any, before I, I didn't know what the word what what it was until this past week when, when uh, they changed the name to uh, to that, and so uh, that's a, it's an important. Basically, what it is, folks, it's data plus data plus data plus data plus data. They're going to mine the heck out of it, and the more data they have, the more they have information on you, the more they can uh, push information your direction that they want to read and see, and so. We've got to be uh, on our toes to try to find out what is right and what is wrong. And that's the, the whole key to some of these things uh, we're looking at. So that's primary what we're paying attention to. Uh, the crude oil got right up into the zone we were looking at, which was uh, right up at the area of uh, 20, uh 84, I believe 84.70 was a 78% retracement. We're trading about 60 cents below that. And uh, a couple other ones that we were watching are we're doing okay also. So we're going to be uh, looking at a uh, another uh, – hold on one second. I wanted to bring up the chart. Uh, one of the futures that we're paying attention to because it's been in the news recently and it's uh, it's getting ready to re reach some really big levels up here. And let me get this up here to see here. Uh, this is the uh, this is December wheat, folks. We'll be right back. <laughs> You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. 
TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, I'm going to post a chart here of the uh, Treasury notes. I want to bring this to your attention right here. You'll notice here that uh, we had that big top up here at 140, but the high was up around 175, if you'll remember. It's been in a downtrend for several years. If you remember, during that time, they were feeding us the information about uh, negative interest rates and all the countries that had it. Well, those have all disappeared. I bring this to your attention is to follow what the charts are telling you and uh, not what the news is telling you. So uh, whether that's an in interesting thing or not, you know, we'll have to... Uh, We'll have to pay attention to it to see if that is going to be the case. Okay, now, I had one other one that I wanted to mention. Uh, I posted a chart of the December wheat, and uh, comment. Uh, Bill made a comment about the fact that uh, there's no head and shoulders there, Bill. All I'm looking at is I'm looking at multiple patterns coming in right near the $8 level uh, in wheat. I mean, we've been friendly for this for quite some time. And so what we've done here is we've been able to, uh, to determine that it should be an area where there should be some resistance coming in. And at that point, it tells us the amount of money that we have to risk is very, very small. And that's what these patterns are basically for. They're for risk control. They have some degree of predictability. They have some degree of risk control, but they are not infallible we've seen this before over and over again so i keep reminding you because uh, repetition is the mother of knowledge anyway let's take a look at this and uh, hold on one one other question that uh, someone asked me about was the gold market why i took profits in the gold folks we had a really nice move in the gold and we've had these before and the market you know this market the gold market is still basically in a downtrend so all i was looking at when we were risking seven dollars on this i put the uh limit minder up here to tell me that once we got to 1795 uh, okay that was uh, that's a that was 20 that was a little $2200 higher than where we paid for it so i mean now i have to risk too much to see this so if i book a profit here and we're right at the 61% retracement of the high of uh, the october the 28th so that's a and we're still in a downtrend so uh, I, I basically felt that this is a place to take profits, and so that's what I was doing. Now, when I do the uh, 
when I do these, you know, videos and stuff, I posted the three video or the video that I posted in early Sunday night, looking at where these uh, stock indices might go. Th these were just patterns of what what had happened in the past. That's all it was. Now, you know, we had a we had a uh, I think a high on the S and P was at uh, forty six uh, eighteen. We were looking at went a little bit higher than that. I think forty six uh, nineteen, and we dropped a thirty handles from there. And that's all that is. That's just a trade. You know, it's a it's nothing more. You know, nothing less. Those, those are the things that we're you know we're looking at to see if they're uh, if they're going to be uh, any good or not. That's uh, that's the bottom line. And uh, sometimes they work. Sometimes they don't. I'd like to be able to. You know, be a little closer to the market on some of these things, but you know, intraday and in the middle of the night and stuff, you can't always get to those areas of uh, what we're looking at. Now, I have a really interesting chart here. Since we were talking about the wheat market, I want you to see what's happening, folks, to the uh, price of uh, a nitrogen, nitrogen fertilizer. This is for the the, the uh, planters for the uh, for the soybean wheat and corn stuff that's going to be coming in here in the spring. But look at the price of these things, folks. These things have gone up uh, a huge amounts. We're approaching levels that we haven't seen since uh, 2008. And I'm talking about pneumonia, uh, ammonia, urea, and uh, the 26% the solution of the both of the uh, a fertilizer that they use. And so fertilizer costs are going through the roof. This will be passed on most probably, you know, in the grain markets because uh, these grain markets, uh, I, for the way the world situation is now, folks, we are only one crop away from a disaster. I mean, we really are. If we have a disaster here and Brazil has problems, that that's it. That's the growing belt of the world. I mean, I I know there's only 7.7 .7 billion people on the planet, but if you think COVID's a problem, uh, you you would be really surprised if people can't get food. That's the that's the main thing uh, to pay attention to as we're as we're looking at some of these uh, things here uh, today. Now I've had a request to uh, take a look at a stock here for just a second that we've looked at before, and I'll bring it up. Just give me one second, and we'll get it up here. We've already done the apple and everything, and we wanted to take a look at the uh, where is it? Oh, stop the front door. Oh, no, no. oh, Amazon. Here's where we are. Okay. All right. Here's Amazon. We'll get this up here. Take a look at it. Uh, it's uh, down a little bit today. It's followed pretty much what we were looking at last week. If you remember, we were watching that 78% uh, level up there at uh, 34.75. We hit that exactly. Uh, we're now down $120 from that level. So as, until uh, Amazon can get above 34.75, we would assume that that would be uh, that would be the. Uh, the level that it's that has very very strong resistance. Now, if you if you look at that head and shoulders pattern, folks, that is a uh, symmetrical head and shoulders pattern. You see where the left shoulder and the right shoulder, the big red S's, how they're equal. If the red S on the right is lower than the S on the left, that tells you that that is a head and shoulders pattern. Now, if that had gone higher than that by just a dollar or two, that would have negated that head and shoulders pattern. That's why when we were looking at that wheat that wheat chart, the wheat chart has nothing to do with a head and shoulders pattern. That's a three drive pattern with multiple ABCDs. That's all it really is. So this is the one that's the true head and shoulders pattern. The 78.6 takes out the previous week's high by four dollars, and then immediately drops. $160. That's not bullish action, folks. Now, I know it's bullish action and everything else on the on the NASDAQ and stuff like that. But those are just some of the things, you know, that we're paying uh, close attention to. Let me get this up here and we'll see here what we were looking at here this evening. Hold on just a second. I've got to clean everything out and we'll see where we are. Hold on. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. OK, we got to go. I got to clean this up a little bit because so there's too many lines on it. Uh, this is the uh, – I want to get the Dow Jones up here so you'll be able to see. I'll let you do the work yourself. But this was the Dow Jones uh, E-mini, and uh, we'll see that. There we go. Anyway, that's the ABCD patterns that we were looking at. We had a break of uh, – we went from uh, 36, basically 36, uh, down to uh, 30 uh, – let's say dropped about 300 points. And so far, we'll just check what the, what the counter trend rally has been here because we look at these all the time. And then we'll take a quick look at it. There is the high and the counter trend rally. 
uh, came uh, within. In fact, we're almost there. We're trading right there right now on the 382 retracement. So that'll be interesting to see how the market reacts around this uh, level right here. So uh, uh, you short G7. I don't know what that means, Ruby. Sorry, dear. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, that's uh, that's what we're looking at. The S and P, uh, we we we've rallied back to a 98. We had a high of uh, 48. Uh, shut the front door. 48.18. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. 48.18. Give me a second. I've got. Hold on, folks. I have to. Uh, I have to fix something. Hey, we'll be right back with Jim Bartolioni, folks. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Jim Bartolioni from Southern California on the line today. Jim, how are you doing? I'm wonderful, Larry. How about yourself? Good morning. Great. Very good. Uh, uh, Jim, we have a question. You have a uh, YouTube channel called Bart's Charts. Is that what it is? Well, you know, I don't have a channel, but I do have a blog, bartscharts.com. And uh, every once in a while, I get interviewed, like, by you, JC, a couple other people, and they post uh, it on YouTube. I probably should get one, Larry, I guess, right? Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah you should, because you certainly got some great stuff. Now, uh, today oh, we're going to be talking. 
We're going to be talking about uh, lithium and Bitcoin. Tell us what you're looking at on these charts, Bart. Yeah, you know, Larry, it's kind of interesting. I, I've been watching um, or been reading and just seeing these amazing battery shortages that are coming up, most of it being run by lithium and cobalt. Uh, I, I tried to take a look at cobalt futures, and there, was, there wasn't really anything there. So what I decided was, you know, there was an ETF called LIT, L-I-T, and it's essentially the lithium and battery uh, business. And so... I'm like, okay, I want to get long this because I think the shortage is going to be around for a while. And the bottom line is it's a fast-moving market. So I think it will be really interesting for us to work together and, and show the readers or show the listeners you know, how we can get into a fast-moving market. So this is just like I think three or four days ago. Yeah, October 26th. Um, they're talking about driverless cars. We've got the stuff going on outside the L.A. Uh, you know, ports uh, up about an hour and a half north of me. So – um, when you call up the chart of lithium, um, you know, lit, excuse me, of ETF, um, this thing's a rocket ship. I think it's up over 400% in the past year or so. So what's been fascinating to me is on each one of the projections, you can see that the market has, air quote, respected it a little bit. But the bottom line is it, it keeps blowing through. So I'm trying to find a, a level above, maybe here, I don't know, where I can try to get into this because it's a rocket ship right now. So. Uh, I wanted to show the you know your listeners uh, lit lit for their uh, edification. So um, I'm not seeing it on the chart right now. If you want to call it up, okay. Uh, let's, let me get it up here right now. I thought that I'd posted sure. it, but this is my fault. Oh, Just bear with me. I'm, you know, I'm technically challenged, as you know. <laughs> I'm technically okay. challenged too. We're technical analysis okay. technicians too, Larry. We're technically yeah. challenged. <laughs> yeah. Amen to that. Now, do you Amen. have? Uh, we've had a. Uh, uh, upside breakout on this. Do you have any price targets higher than what we're looking at here? I mean, what are you? Oh, you've got them up um, there. You've got I, them up I, Oh, I, I see them. Yeah, okay, got it. Yeah. Yeah, I can't see the chart right now, Larry. Let me I can call okay. up on my computer. I've got but, your, but your global lithium and battery ETF, LIT. I've got that LIT chart up is what I've got up. Okay, boom. Now, now I see it. So, you know, what I'm doing is that, you know, we have that low, as you can see. And what I'm doing is I'm projecting off of that low and that first impulse high. And it's just fascinating. You see a gap at the ABCD. It gapped again at the 1.618 times ABCD. and found some resistance at 2.0, right? Uh, it uh -huh. found, again, resistance at the 2.618. So I'm just throwing some more numbers uh -huh. up there, trying to figure out when, you know, we could find, you know, at least some resistance. Um, and, and that's just, you know, just a little higher up by those two red lines. It has kind of broken out, too. You can see it's broken out from that trend line. So sure you know, has, we want to yeah. get long there. We, this thing could go up into the 150s, 200s from where it's at right now. So, you know, I'm hoping, hope, hope being a strategy, right, Larry? I'm hoping that, you know, the two areas that I could find will cause it to at least pause. And then we'll have to figure out using patterns. It's probably be a 382 retracement of some one of these swings to, to try to get long uh, lithium for what I think could be a multi year run. Wow, boy, it's had a heck of a run. My goodness, that's for sure. Now the next yeah, one you want to percent, Larry? <laughs> yeah, that's well. Is that is that monthly or daily? Or <laughs> yeah, that's on a weekly right now. <clears throat> Let's take a look here at this uh, banking index uh, that you've shown up here. Yeah, Got you some know, really... we showed this. Yeah, we showed this last time, uh, Larry. And um, you know, as the market goes, as we as we all know, uh, the market um, goes up and goes down based on the banks. And we've just got a massive target coming in on the banks, specifically the, the blue measured moves, which equals a perfect ABCD. And you can see the extensions that it's coming into. So for me, um, I'm, I'm really watching that to see how the market's going to react to that overall. So that's a, that's a huge chart. Oh, wow, that, that is uh, certainly uh, unbelievable. And I watch Goldman Sachs quite a bit because, you know, that's one of the leaders of the banking index. And, yeah, boy, yeah. it uh, certainly has a has a big run. Now, the next one we're going to talk about is you got to be careful when these ABCDs uh, uh, don't work because this is uh, Netflix. Boy, that you talk about a rocket ship. Boy, this is uh, yeah, this I know. Has really I mean, been a... Honestly, things, things were really lining up nicely for that one. And it was, uh, as you can see, it was a perfect little ABCD. But for your books and for what you taught me, right, um, a valid ABCD mm -hmm. is when that BC leg goes 50%. Uh, it obviously mm -hmm. didn't. So, But I still wanted to project up into that, and it just wiped it out. <laughs> it didn't even stop. Yeah. So um, Netflix is still charging. Um, I'm, I'm going to do a little bit of work probably in the next day or two 
because I do think it's it's coming to an end of this run. I'm not going to say the end of the run, but uh, yeah, that ABCD yeah. was beautiful. But yeah, I don't think it liked it very much. <laughs> yeah, I was. You win some, you lose some, right, Larry? <laughs> well, I, I I've never traded. Well, I hardly ever trade stocks. I mean, that's an understatement of the year. But I was looking at a pattern up there, at uh, that six sixty nine level, and it went through there like it didn't even exist. So that's the the beauty of what these things are is when they don't work, you've got to get out of the way. You know, that's just the, that's right. That's the that, whole key. That's, you taught me to, that, right? Um, yeah. And well, then you know exactly I, where I, you I are. learned it. I learned it the hard way. <laughs> Hey, you know, this next one's going to inter, inter, uh, make uh, people very happy because they have a lot of interest in this one, and that is the uh, the TBT, which is the uh, ETF for those uh, uh, notes and bonds. Uh, this looks like we're in a pretty bear, pretty much of a bear market here. Yeah, and, and, and what's fascinating is um, I really uh, I really like this pattern, TBT. I went long uh, down lower. And um, I'm looking to add, but I see that little ABCD there that okay. we just got to wait and see because it could hit and, and just crumble this thing also. But that's a beautiful buy pattern right there. It sure is. They went right down there. This is when the whole world didn't want them. That's when you want to start buying when they're crying and sell them when they're yelling. <laughs> hey, so Bart, what, listen. The other thing, yeah, go ahead, Larry. I, I was just going to say I love also when we have nested patterns. Right. And so you can see I, I made that there's obviously the Gartley buy, but then, you know, people forget that all these different inflection points um, are important. And you can see that yellow was just an extension off of that, you know, um, that pivot point before it went up and made that high. So there was a lot going on at that level. And now we have this little minor ABCD where the question marks are. Um, so if that fails, off we go. Uh, but if it doesn't, then unfortunately, we'll definitely go down to the 786. But so we'll see. But TBT is a huge deal. Bart, how can the folks reach you if they'd like to see some of your work? Can you tell us what your Absolutely, content Absolutely, Larry. Thank you. And I always love talking to you. It's always so much fun. But, you know, I do have my blog, bartscharts.com, and you can just contact me there at info at. And then I'm at bart at bartscharts.com. Anybody can email me anytime. And uh, I really uh, I really love the market. I love what we do together. Yeah. It's just a blast. Yeah. So thanks. Yeah, it's been, been a lot of fun. It's been over 20 years, Bob. It's hard to believe. Huh? I know. No, I don't say that. You keep mentioning that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, thanks for joining us. We'll have you on in a few weeks. Okay, pal? Sounds good, Larry. Yeah, let's keep an eye yeah. on Lit together. We'll, uh, we'll update your yeah. listeners. It'll be an interesting I, It's on my watch list. We'll be right back, folks. 877-9276. Thanks, Bart. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I've been asked to take a look at the December hogs. And if you'll notice, uh, we had that bottom down there. That's when we talked about uh, John Hill's yum yum trade, uh, where he, uh, you know, looks for a complete reversal. And uh, it's uh, it's really, a, really, we've already gone through that. You can see the 382 pullback. I marked that. That was the low on Friday. And that's where we're watching. When you have a throng, strong thrust like that, you look for that. Uh, now we've got a market that's uh, started to move up, and you want to start looking for, you know, buy patterns is the way that you would start to work with that. So let's get, let's go into the World Series, folks. Uh, if you ever watch baseball, folks, it's a great way of re relating it to trading because in trading, if you make a mistake, you have to correct it right away. And if you don't, the difference between a, a neophyte trader and a professional trader, the professional trader will usually 99% of the time take care of the problem right away. Otherwise, he's losing capital and they don't like to do that. However, there's sometimes that you don't do that, and that's what happened in baseball yesterday. When they start issuing base on balls, free passes to first base, this is one of the quick ways to lose a game, and that's exactly what happened to Atlanta. Uh, they left the pitchers in too long. I mean, you walk two, two pitchers right in a, in, a, in a row in a really close game, you know something is wrong, and that's what happened. But this is where we are. Let's just take a look here. We're in the major leagues now, folks. This is the dollar index. This trades over... Uh, well, the, the euro does. This index itself doesn't trade what the euro does, but the euro trades about a million, uh, one trillion dollars uh, a day. But you'll notice here that we have this huge ABCD pattern right up here at the 382 level at uh, right under 95. I think it's 94, 99 or something like that. So we need to pay very, very close attention to that because if the dollar gets really strong in here, and I don't think that it's going to be able to just because this pattern on a longer term basis after that double top, just doesn't look that good because if that bottom was really good down there that we made in late 2020 and then retested in 2021 we would be going like we were back in 2018 you see how that bottom at the 61 percent retracement stayed there for you know well over five months and look what happened when it broke out from that 61 percent retracement we went up and made a double top so this market is acting differently. It's it's not you know exceedingly strong and it's you know it's not too weak either. But the fact that it can't even make the 382 retracement, uh, and that's been uh, almost a year that we've been doing this. So this is one that that makes you wonder you know what's really going to be going on with it. Now if we look at the dollar index on a little bit a little bit closer time frame, we'll go down to the dailies here and look at this. By the way, folks, if you have any questions. It's 877-927-6648. All right. Now, there is the low that we made the other day. We had a little bit below the 382 with that big wide bar down. The next day, boom, away we went. But this, if this can make new highs now, folks, because the number for that, the number for the uh, 
for the dollar index on that weekly chart is 90, let's call it 95. We're trading at 94 plus, 94.20 or something like that. Now, if that could get above that, then, then you've got something to really check out. Now, if the dollar is strong, that usually means that gold is weak. So that's another reason to pay attention to this thing, because uh, there could be a big correlation. But sometimes these correlations, you know, don't work. That's why you've got to look at, you know, what you're, what you're trading is what you want to be, is the thing you want to be trading is the, uh, the, uh, the, in the instrument. Let's take a look here now. We'll go move this over to the euro because that's, that's an important one to watch too. You'll notice here, the euro, we went up, we had that big wide range there. And I thought that I made a, I thought it was a perfect trade. After that broke out above uh, 116.70, all I did was to buy a 382 retracement. And, folks, the amount of time that I was in that, I actually cut the loss down to, to $190. But uh, as soon as I saw that that 382 was not holding, I assumed that we were going to go down. And, of course, the market you know collapsed well over a point. Uh, from that level, I didn't go short, but I protected myself because I knew that the pattern, if it's not going to hold, then uh, we're going to be looking like the market is actually a strong dollar. You're absolutely right. Tommy's, uh, Tom, uh, who, uh, Tommy O'Brien's in there talking about the dollar. And folks, look at that. Dollar. This, hey, you got to give you got to let's give Tommy some really great credit here, because uh, to me, this was one of the the best ones of them all. I want you to look down here, folks. Uh, you didn't. I didn't bring this up to you, but I keep this on this chart because it was so profound. Look back here in 2012, folks. This is where Tom uh, Tom O'Brien Sr. said this. He coined the phrase "King Dollar." And then you see we had the 50% retracement there in 2014, and then we had the uh, the butterfly top in uh, 2017. But that remember that thing went from 72 up to 103. I mean, that's uh, that's a heck of a call. I keep that on there because one of the best calls of the decade, uh, in my opinion, but it was uh, certainly, you know, spot on uh, watching it. But let's look uh, at the euro on a weekly basis, because uh, to me, this chart is really telegraphing uh, that this is where we're going on the weekly basis, and that's down to this 61% retracement down at that 113 level. Now, will that have any effect on the stock market? I don't know, because this isn't the stock market. This is the euro versus the U.S. dollar. It's the largest thing traded in the whole world. They trade a trillion dollars a day. That high we made last week was exactly a 382. You took out the old high by just a little bit. And uh, to me, this is what we're doing. We're heading down into this area for the euro. So I think it's important to remind ourselves that uh, that's what that chart looks like. I can't do anything uh, any easier than that. Uh, here's another one that that looks really interesting. Now we had some, uh, we had a little bit of strength in the uh, crude oil this morning, but but look at the difference between the crude oil and the heating oil. Uh, you know, and heating oil, gee whiz, does it start to get cold back east? Heating oil should be skyrocketing because this is a strong seasonal period, and so far it's not been able to get above. I haven't checked it this morning, but it hasn't been able to get above the 382 of that last high. Now we went to the 78 percent level in the in the uh, the crude, but the other one did not. So those are just a couple that we're paying close attention to. So remind ourselves that uh, these patterns uh, are have some good deal of predictability. Now another one that has been you know really spot on uh, for predictability and is working well today is the uh, Australian dollar. You'll see here the uh, we're making that same pattern in the Australian dollar. We just saw the dollar index. This we had a really nice A B C D correction, so we should be heading down in the Australian dollar, and that's uh, that's what you're watching as you're seeing. You know, I know you get a little bit uh, bored with these patterns, but I don't get bored with them. So because uh, it's just a giant chess game for me. It's just the ones that you want to line up and say, okay, this one's going to work or this one isn't, and that's what you're trying to do as you're starting to understand. You know which ones of these are going to work, and uh, you know which ones aren't. So that's the the real key to uh, watching these markets. The bonds continue to work lower, folks, as are the notes. Uh, we have it higher interest rates coming. We've got higher costs coming, and I think those are the things that that we need to pay uh, very very close attention to as we as we look at these. Uh, different things unfold here we've got to take a break here when we get back we're going to take one last uh one last look at the wheat market and then we will call it a day 877-927-6648 
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis the tiger first mortgage program may be the program for you the best rate on a five-year cd in the country right now according to bankrate.com is paying one percent per year or one thousand dollars per one hundred thousand dollars invested the tiger first mortgage program pays seven percent per year paid monthly on secured high value buildable properties in st petersburg florida the investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, folks, uh, instead of looking at the wheat market, I want to give you a little bit of heads up. This is the Euro 15-minute chart. Oh, you see the first black line there? That's where uh, I was buying the 382 retracement of that move, thinking that was going to be uh, the, the low. And of course, as you can see, it didn't. Once it went below that, it told me we were going to go much lower. So why stand in front of that? That's the main thing. And here we are. The Euro's getting up here now to the 382 of that range up here at 1595 we're trading at 1591 we have the same situation so these are the types of things that i'm going to be teaching on our day of november the 10th uh, that'll be on my last one for quite a while uh, way into next year i guess because i'm going to be doing some traveling after the first of the year we're going to be going east and west and uh, catch up with some folks that we haven't been able to see for a long time but tommy hugard will be uh joining me on the show which is always fun he's a nice young man plus he really knows this stuff uh, quite well so let's uh let's remind ourselves here folks that uh these patterns are there for two reasons risk control okay and a, and a little segment of predictability that's the main thing I'll, also we're going to start watching the cryptocurrency markets a little more closely in the newsletter i'm going to be following ethereum and a few others that are on the on the watch list that john will help us with to get us moving this is a real thing folks these blockchains are here to stay they've got these exchanges bringing them in big money's in it you know it's trillions of dollars now so that's not like the tulip bulb it's not like the south sea island bubble or anything like that this is this is here to say when someone can show you four years ago what was going to happen in the future i think that metaverse pretty much describes everything so we need to pay attention to these things because that's why 
you know, they work the way they do. So uh, remind ourselves that now. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. Do something nice for your neighbors because there's some people out there that are still having trouble. And I think that uh, we can all benefit by helping other people. So we'll see you all tomorrow with Jeff Huge as our guest. Thursday, Wednesday will be Shane Smullyan. 